We're still shopping, never dropping, across the USA. Our next destination is out west in the Golden State. 50 miles south of San Francisco is San Jose, California's third largest city and home to a truly mind-boggling bazaar, an eight-mile maze of merchandise. It's the San Jose Flea Market, the nation's largest open-air market. It's just row after row after row of this diverse merchandise. It's the sheer size, you know, the geographical layout. Just how big is the country's premier flea? At 120 acres, with eight full miles of paths, the San Jose flea is so big, it's even got its own street signs. And everything is available here, from secondhand steals to a barber shop to even an auto dealership. We sell about 1,200 cars a year. Open Wednesdays through Sundays, some 2,000 vendors arrive to hawk the weird and wonderful wares to hardcore bargain hunters. Found some weights and a curling bar. Got it real cheap. And they pour in. The San Jose Flea draws in 80,000 people per week, adding up to about 4 million a year. You get people from India, from Canada, from Australia. And you simply won't believe the insane range of merchandise piled up in these stalls. Sure, there's your basic flea market fare. But look past the used denims and tires, and things get deeply weird, starting with a massive multicolored selection of surgical garb. So then we have the, the DJ equipment. I saw Western boots, uh, shirts, hats, robes, anything for the horses. I sell baptismal uh, clothing for kids. The flashy baptismal wear is only the beginning of the faith-based merchandise. This market even has a tent of religious articles sold by actual nuns. The San Jose Flea is so massive, it even has room for an entire farmer's market with a quarter mile of produce stalls. This is our produce row. If you can see all the way down there, you know, that's roughly the quarter mile. And sure, you expect a few items of ramshackle furniture at a flea market, but San Jose has a whole outdoor showroom of antique and new furnishings. Believe it or not, we're not in my bedroom at home. We're still at the flea market. And so this is part of the, uh, the furniture area, the 50 or so spaces that we have here that sell furniture. And if there's one thing you'd never expect to buy at a flea market, it's a car. But San Jose even boasts its own sprawling auto lot. You can see probably a couple hundred cars here. There's roughly an acre under this tent. So the customer can, can come in and they literally can drive it right off. Uh, the day they come out here. A lot of people say I only came to buy a toy for my kid or I only came to buy some vegetables at the vegetable aisle. We ended up buying two cars for the family. Even if you aren't a flea aficionado, San Jose has something for you. Visitors can chow down at the tasty and titanic food court and get down to some seriously over-the-top entertainment. We have two mariachi bands. We have a carousel that's Kind of antique, it was built in about the 30s. We have an arcade uh, with uh, ski ball machines and three playgrounds. And this white elephant wonderland also offers some services you'll never ever find at a wimpy little flea market. Feeling stressed? Visit San Jose's own masseuse. Need a trim? Meet their resident barber, a fixture at the flea for more than a decade. I got a purple door like Elvis yeah. Presley. <laughs> <laughs> we had 120 customers a day. Oh, ready? Yeah, we But between getting a haircut and buying a new car, you can lose your way at the San Jose flea. We can have, you know, five or six lost little kids, and, and they're always, you know, joyous reunions. Our advice? Stick together, bring a map, and pace yourself. You can always come back for more. Probably 70% of our customers are repeats, and a surprising number of those come out here 25, maybe 30 times a year. Now that's a flea market with a serious following. Thank you. When we return.